Thanks for watching. My goal for this video was to make a tapered jig that had very little setup time and no guesswork. The idea was to have a dowel system that can move, um, hold the hole to set degrees. Uh, the first problem I came by was using it on an angle like this. The holes get closer each time. It goes from 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, and by 15, 10, and 5, the holes were overlapping. So I couldn't go straight through. So in, in this case, I did 20, 15, 5, and put 10 on the other side. So 10 uses the hole on the right. And the rest use this hole, 40. 35, 30, 25, and so on. And when you're done, you just close it up. Um, the other problem that I wasn't sure of, it didn't become a problem, but I wasn't sure if, with the round holes, if this would want to close. And it's actually pretty strong. Um, what I didn't like is not having a handle or something to push through. It's kind of awkward where to hold it to push it through the, uh, the table saw. So I started to think about handles and what can go across here um, to push through the table saw. When I was doing that, I realized I could take the dowel system and do it right across doing 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, and it would give me a handle to push on. Also in doing that, because the, um, the dowel system, the holes all stay at this end, they move this almost the same amount. So the holes don't overlap. I couldn't do this type of system with this taper jig because it's too short and the, this support would hit the fence. So I came up with this one, which is a little bit taller, made out of plywood, and has the same dowel system, but this time the holes are in the board instead of um, are in the, the support rather than the board. So you got 40, 35, 30, all the way down to 5. These go every 5 degrees and it also gives you something that you can push on. while you're running it through the table saw. It gives you a little handle. So I'll keep trying both of these out and uh, see what I, what works better, wh which one I like better. Um, if you like this video, click like. If you have any ideas on how to make these better or how to change them, let me know in the comments.